We honor our nation's heroes on this Veterans Day and welcome you to NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal. In this game, we'll see the Charlotte Hornets going up against the Trailblazers in Portland. And when you take a look at the Trailblazers, they've stumbled a little bit early in the season here, but trying to get the right pieces in place. They're not the team they thought they'd be, at least not yet. When you look at Charlotte, when you saw them in the playoffs in 2014, you saw just how important Al Jefferson healthy was to that team. Um, how far can he take them? Uh, I think you can take them pretty far, but but Ernie, they can't be too reliant on Al Jefferson last year. Last year in the playoffs, when he was hurt, he had the hobble foot. They came up short. We all know he'd do a lot of scoring, but the team is balanced otherwise. The one-of-a-kind insights of Shaquille O'Neal, and now it's time to check in with Kevin Harlan. Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. The Hornets log another stop on their travel schedule in today's matchup. They've come out very strong. Their early season play has been excellent. This is really a good team, Kevin. I mean, not only is it a good team, but it's a fun team to watch, and it's really nice to see them put it all together. This is a fun basketball team and a really good one as well. Well, they've grabbed a lot of people's interest lately for sure. We're hearing a lot of talk about them, and it's all for the right reasons between the fans, the media. They're getting plenty of attention, and they deserve it. They're a good squad. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for Charlotte, Walker runs the point with Stevenson flanking him. Inside, you have Vonley and Jefferson, and it's Butler in at the three. A tomb, good. Portland on defense. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. They came out flat that night and could never really get it going. Not their best effort for sure, Clark. No, I agree with you. And I thought maybe they could find somebody to come off the bench and give them a spark. But it didn't happen. Here's Jefferson. Hits the jump hook. Jefferson's got his first two points of the night. The Trailblazers on offense. It's a three-point game. Al Jefferson signed by the Bobcats last season to a big money three-year contract in the franchise's nine seasons. They never had a big man average at least 16 points a game. A big man average at least 16 points a game. Really a potent score in the low post. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five. No, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys, having some microphone issues, and of course, I turned the ball over, but it's okay. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Here's Lillard, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two. Um, I don't know if it caught what I said at the beginning, but um, me and the Charlotte Hornets are seven and zero. Oh. Um, and I said that I think the Trailblazers could be the first team to give us our first loss. Instinctive defender inside. Joining a Bobcats team that had struggled getting stops in years past, but they made some significant strides in that area under Coach Clifford, and surprisingly, were one of the league's top defenders. <laughs> okay, it's still our ball. Damian Lillard drafted with the sixth pick back in 2011. That pick, guys, acquired from the Nets in an exchange for Gerald Wallace. Steve, I'd say a pretty good trade for the Blazers. Yeah, well, remember the Nets were in win-now mode. They were trying to keep Darren Williams happy, so they felt like the trade for Wallace would do that. Uh, the Blazers, in turn, I mean, they were rebuilding, and so they found the perfect deal at the right time and ended up drafting the future rookie of the year. They grab their own miss. Jefferson kicks the butt. Walker goes in. Whoa. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And there's the whistle fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the Okay, I'll take it. And Lillard's star is continuing to rise, but you know, he still thrives on that underdog status. He shrugs off the height, doesn't really let it affect him. Still looks at himself as the two-star recruit from Weber State fighting for respect. 
And um, it's serving him well as he continues to grow as an NBA player. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Cayman's checked in. Kemba Walker hits them both. And Lillard embracing the humble, grinding persona. But he plays the game with tremendous confidence. An assassin's mentality and his disposition has really rubbed off on this entire Blazer team. Now here's Kamen. Here's Batum. This is to Aldridge. The second chance effort. Cannot hit. Some solid defense from Butler. Well defended. And he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. On lay, this is to Walker. Stevenson passes to Jefferson. The jump hook, and that one's good. Big Al does it for me again. Trailblazers trail by six. They need a good offensive possession. Uh, nope. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Walker against Lillard. Okay. Oh, come on. Kicks to Kamen. Just five to shoot. Can't get it to go. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. And it was the role players uh, in that game, Kevin, that really led the charge. You know, the guys who normally don't score a lot, they came in and really contributed. A total team performance, Steve. The kind you need if you're going to win on the opponent's home floor. And Lillard kicks to Batum. Aldridge tried to break free, and Batum with the basket. Oh, I wish that would have came out. <laughs> Batum's got his second basket of the night. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. After two year absence from the playoffs, the Portland Trail Blazers able to get back into it last year to face Houston in the 4 5 seeded matchup. And they jockeyed as hard as they could to get that home court advantage, but just couldn't quite grab hold of it. Still, they were able to get by a very tough Houston. I know there's more I can do in the post other than a post hook shot. I just really haven't figured out the post game yet. Charlotte was not bad on the road last season. They had some, some good road wins, much improved now. From Nor have I mastered the dribbling system yet. Are we really going to make these substitutions now? Neutral offensive focus. Okay. Oh, you're the coach. Robinson's checked in for Aldridge. Wright comes in for Nicholas Batum. And McCollum subbed in for Wesley Matthews. One oh six left in the first quarter. And, you know, you go back to the year before when Charlotte had the worst road record in the league. And last year, just just leaps and bounds ahead of that. And then this is where it's going to come back to bite us in the ass because we have the bench. Here's Roberts following the basket by Thomas Robinson. Here's Biombo. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Yeah, Charlotte's 18 road wins tripled their total from 2013. But you knew, Steve, they would be better overall. Well, really, it was their ability to tread water out on the road that gave them that seventh spot in the East. It shows you how important it is to get road wins. Oh, good block, Biombo. They push it up, four on three. Here's Taylor. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I didn't think that was going in. Came in with the ball. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Robinson, and he floats in for the easy... Biombo was in front of him. What? I really think that's the area they want to work the ball into, and it takes passing like that to get it done. Here's Roberts. Oh, come on, Robert. Yes. Wow. Boy, ends the quarter with a dead-eye three as the buzzer sounds. They had that set up, I think, Steve, and he timed it perfectly. NBA season blasts off. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? And I like what they've done offensively, really attacking the rim, getting a lot of points in the paint. And guys, they've been the aggressor early. I mean, attacking the hoop and getting into the paint, that can make the game really easy for you. Trailblazers trail by six, setting the floor for the Hornets. We've got Bismack Biombo, Ryan Roberts out there with Gary Neal. Then it's Williams 
and it's Dunleavy in its small forward. Robinson with it. Williams picks him up. Oh, he's dancing with it. Robinson, that's good. That's a nice hoop for a guy that typically doesn't score a lot. So it's the Hornets now. Thomas Robinson, this is a good note, only the fifth top five pick in the lottery era to be traded in his rookie season. He went from the Kings to the Rockets before ending up in Portland for year two. Still looking for stability, trying to find his niche at the forward position. Here's Dunleavy, and it's Portland. Oh, I was way too early. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. You gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Well, it's been a whirlwind first couple seasons for Thomas Robinson in the NBA, hasn't it? And it has been, Kevin, and that wasn't... Oh, come on, be on ball. His mother and both of his grandparents passed away all within weeks of one another. I remember when that was happening. Actually, was doing a Kansas game during, during that stretch. Good really rebound, good rebound. What that young man encountered. He's had to overcome a lot, so you can't help but root for him to find happiness, fulfillment, and success. And we'll see if that all plays out. In yeah, game. see, every time I do that, oh, good. Oh, come on, man. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Britt. Doris, what do you have? Gentlemen, we all know the mid-range jumper is a lost art, but not for LaMarcus Aldridge. As he said, I've always had that shot. That's my game. Most teams like to give up mid-range shots, so if I specialize in that shot, then why not shoot it? And Coach Terry Scott's agreed, saying, if you're open and it's your shot, it's a good shot. Kevin, back to you. He makes the percentages work in his favor. Oh, he missed. Oh, yes. Hornets leading by four. Roberts dishes to Dunleavy. He feeds it to Neal. Here's Dunleavy. Lopez covering. Six on the shot clock. Dunleavy shot his... Oh, man, come on. That's going in. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. You know, that's exactly how they wanted to run that possession, guys. Beautiful. Williams, a screen on Lillard. And Roberts kicks to Williams. Out left to the wing. Ooh, that was supposed to go in. Here's I mean, Neal. supposed to go in. I should have meant to shoot it up. Here's Roberts. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Roberts got five now. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first half. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. This their first chance this season playing Charlotte. Well, they all right. Starters are coming back in. Year, both times, but uh, they actually split the two season meetings. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Chris Kamen's checked in for Lopez. Aldrich comes in for Thomas Robinson. Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Darrell Wright. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Why is Al Jefferson covering Damian Lillard? Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got four assists in the game. You know, you would think, as you said, Steve, that no matter what building they were in, this is a team they should have beaten both times. It probably had a little something to do with the fact that they're just not a very familiar opponent. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Walker the pass to Stevenson. Six to shoot. Yeah, but I just love how he just, you know, glided to me. Soft touch off the glass. Stevenson's got his first points of the night. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Lillard dishes to Matthews. No, 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 no threes. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Sloppy defense there. You can't let him get the ball in his hands down there. Well, when he does, that's an automatic bucket. Stevenson against Matthews. 
and walk no don't run it don't run it you got why every question is do they go two for one here can they get a good shot in time that's the question Portland shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night ties it up and this next one could give them the lead and that one falls and that puts them up by one point Hornets have gone three or seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Shot and game clock separated by five. And Walker kicks to Buck. And it's blocked. Oh, damn. Something Just got blocked. This game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. With one on the clock. And a tight game here as we end the first half. It's the Trailblazers up by one. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Well, guys, I'm here with Al Jefferson. And Al, what's the strategy been so far defensively? And what needs to happen in the second half in that regard? Well, we just got to help. Um, you know, we can't let everybody beat us. We just got to, everybody got to help. And on the defense end, and uh, getting the key to take the fight. Pick your poison. Can't let everybody beat you, Al. We appreciate it. Guys. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter started. been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first third quarter starting here now you gotta like what Nicholas Batum has done in this game yeah and sometimes it's just the little things that make all the difference he's been terrific in so many areas out there you know the numbers don't necessarily jump out at you but he's really making his presence felt out there with everything he's doing filling out the wings it's Matthews and Batum Aldridge and Lopez are down low and it's Lillard in at the point. So that's who Terry Stotts starts the second half with. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious the defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. Lopez hits them both. What a season for Robin Lopez a year ago. Career highs in blocked shots and rebounds, especially on the offensive boards where he tied for second in the NBA. And the whistle blows as the basket. Oh, I'll take that. Three point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Too bad I suck at free throws without Jefferson. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Al Jefferson, 6'10", over 280 pounds, and he's got a 9-foot-2 oh. standing. Oh, wow, I actually got the excellent release. Yes. But hasn't always been a great defender at that position. I thought Charlotte really put him in a good position last year, however, with their scheme, and he was very effective. Here's Matthews from 13 feet. It goes down. Matthews has got his second bucket of the night. Charlotte trailing. Up top, Walker. Covered by Lillard. Walker against Lillard. Jefferson, a screen on Lillard. Five to shoot. Butler kicks to Stevenson. Shot on the wing, and the shot is good. Stevenson's got the game tied up here for Charlotte. And Al Jefferson, not the fleetest of foot, but a good nose for the ball. You know, he's always been a terrific rebounder, and I've said before that rebounding isn't about how high you jump. It's about how physical you are and how hungry you are to get after the ball and timing and position. And he's actually improved defensively, too. Lillard, the pass to Aldridge. Back to Lillard. Let's it fly. Again, the Trailblazers. Good. For oh my gosh! Take your eyes off of him because he can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Put the isolated cam on him. Here's Charlotte now. Walker with it. A step back shot here, and there's another one for the Hornets. Nothing but money for him to start the half. They've made all three of their shot attempts. 
The Trailblazers shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Kemba Walker, quick, got a great handle on the ball. He's a blur in transition. What I like about him, he's always looking to push the tempo for easy baskets, and he's tough, not afraid of the moment. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And Walker, tough to stay in front of, but yet Clark, he's become a great finisher around the rim. Well, you know, you have to be able to do that at his size. He's listed at 6'1", which I think is really generous. He's more 5'10"-ish, 5'11". And he understands that's an area that he has to continue to expand and add to to be um, the potent offensive player he's capable of being. And Matthews kicks to Aldridge. Batum against Walker. Wesley Matthews on the wing. He's got five. No good from 11 feet. Hornets have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Stevenson drives in. The shot by Butler. No. Thank you, down. Jimmy Butler. Hornets another three. And still perfect here in the second half. Four for four from the field. Trailblazers trail by three. The dish to Matthews. A fader. Oh, of course he fades after I jump. Matthews has got four points. Should have never jumped. Charlotte has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Alert against Walker. On the wing, Stevenson. And a big pass. Oh, thank you, bounce. Stevenson's got his third bucket of the night. A tight game here in Portland. Outside, Matthews. Lopez sets a screen for Matthews. Lillard with no one around. Here's Lopez. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. Outside, Walker. We've got 123 left in the third quarter. Good on the shot. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Lillard attacking. And it's Lillard again missing. I tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. From the side oh, the come on. Well, Kevin, Terry Stotts led the Blazers to the second round last season, and he's now in his third year with the team. He spent a couple of seasons as head coach in Atlanta and Milwaukee, but this is his longest stint and the best talent he's ever had. I like the fact that the coach did this substitution. You if you're going to get another chance. Guys, he's certainly making the most of it. Doing a great job. Thanks, Doris. Cayman's shot is good. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Here's Neal. He's guarded by McCollum. Here's Vonley. Tried to bank it in. Ah, oh, man. And they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. And good on the basket. Book it. Hornets have gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this quarter. What a fantastic start to the half. Here's Neal. He is guarded by McCollum. So he gets the whistle. Okay, I'll take that foul. Two shots coming up. The Hornets have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. I like how they actually show the foul in the replays. I like that. The first free throw is good, so both teams... Sorry, my commentary is so boring right now. I'm pretty sure it always, it always is. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning while I'm recording this. Neil hits them both. Well, you can count on him, can't you? He seems to knock down free throws consistently all game long. This should be the last possession of the quarter if they play it right. And if their clock management's good, it will be. And Matthews kicks to Batum. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Batum's got nine. Boy, that pick was a thing of beauty by Kamen. Tipped away. Oh, come on! It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Trailblazers lead by one. From Portland, we're back in a moment.
And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from Kevin and likely. Yeah, I don't care. Yes, the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, ser <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. And on the court for Charlotte as we start the fourth. Ryan Roberts out there with Hairston. Then there's Dunleavy. Then it's Jeff Taylor. And it's Maxiel in at the center position. Roberts dishes to Maxiel. Just four to shoot. From deep. Uh, just go for it. Robinson pulls it in. It's like he's just trying to showcase his range, but he could probably get. Wow. What a throw down. <laughs> Look at that athletic play. Incredible. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go <laughs> for it, didn't he? I'm with, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Portland leading by three. Nice break. Here come the Trailblazers. And Matthews gets it to go in on the assist by Batum. Matthews has got 10 points here in the second half. Charlotte has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's Roberts. Right wing. Taylor attacking. Oh, why didn't I go through with that? What am I doing? Takes the turnaround, Jay. Misses. What, what, are, what are you doing? It's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Heyman inside, working on Max Seal, eight feet away, and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. I'm sensing, guys, in this game really starting to swing their way. To me, it seems like they're taking charge as their lead gets more and more comfortable. Charlotte calls Why the hell would you start the fourth quarter the with game, fucking your bench? For the teams to regroup and for the players, this is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Lopez, he's checked in for Kamen. Aldrich comes in for Thomas Robinson. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Darrell Wright. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kevin, Steve Clifford was just going over the game plan with his team. He told us, guys, I know we can do this, fellas. Let's maximize every possession and get after it and just watch. Things will go our way. Kevin? Thanks a lot, Doris. Puts up the baby hook, and it's Aldridge missing. Hornets trail by five. From deep, Stevenson. Oh, my God. Another shot, and it's sent back. What? No foul? Come on. Batum attacking. He dishes it to Lillard. The feed to Matthews. There's the three. Okay. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Jefferson's got three rebounds now in this one. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. So those are key baskets. And we know he can deliver down the stretch. Now a timeout called by Portland. Well, he sees something that, he's, that he doesn't like. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to make some changes here. I think you've got to make your adjustments pretty quickly like he's doing here. Otherwise, you know, things can get out of hand. So this is a good timeout. And Matthews kicks to Lillard. Pass to Batum. Lopez, a screen on Buck. Batum attacking. Oh, my gosh. He has nine points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Yeah, he's got to take his time behind the arc. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Portland. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. And here's Stevenson for three, and it's the Hornets another three. That's Gave me a lot of space. Long range. Yeah, shoddy defense there. Far too slow to react on the closeout. Matthews into the lane. Back to Lillard. On the wing, but two. Portland again missing. Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Well, he made it a tough shot again. He didn't give up on it, and he got a hand up. Here's 
Walker. Go in, go in. Good, yes. Unbelievable basket. What a huge height disadvantage. I thought for sure it would be blocked. Not this fella, Steve. Not at this stage of the game. He was going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way. He just has such a great rhythm at the line, whether it's with a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance like it is now. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're behind by two. 105 left here in the fourth quarter. All right, let's just get a stop, guys. Now here is Aldridge. He's covered closely. Good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. And it's absolutely scary, frightening, when Aldridge starts lighting it up like this. Charlotte's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Walker goes in. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. It's in! Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. Clark, a big-time possession here. Tell you what, their hearts have to be racing right now. Here's Lillard. It's good! Oh, okay. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Wide open look for Walker. Count it. Well, if you like offense, you'll love this game. Yep, a high scoring affair. Both squads saving their energy for the offensive end of the floor because they definitely aren't doing anything defensive. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Batum, it's good. This game is I shouldn't have tried to steal it. And that bucket ignites the crowd. Crucial bucket there. And you hear it in their reaction. And you can feel the energy throughout this building right now. What a huge shot. Alert against Walker. It falls! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're losing by two. One second left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? With under two seconds remaining, you've got to hurry it up. Get the ball up quickly and take one dribble. And yes, we win. <laughs> Oh man, that was a close game. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you watched the whole thing, I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you later.